question is whether or not this will be slowed down at all by Ambox. I've got oh, well, Seb's actually going to try to meet the push. Takes down Leaf, and the trades are looking fantastic for Cloud9. So they've overrun the side. They've got themselves a pretty solid position here. A four versus three. No, if, I mean if you look at Fun at Boy funnily, he may very well may die here. Mod is the first going to be the case here. So Cloud9. They dial up a little something, they get on Indo, so they're going to be able to take a good bit of that space away. But what I'm curious of is how, how much impact is Floppy going to be able to have from Long? He's going to be able to smoke things out now as they blast onto the site. Seb patiently waits as one dash is through and he's able to get two, not able to get the third as Floppy comes up huge. Takes him down. Numbers advantage in favor of Cloud9. A slight one, but a numbers advantage nonetheless. Uh, there's backside control coming in here for Ambox. Yeah, Imada making their way forwards. Great frag onto Floppy. And with that, there's suddenly massive issues here for Cloud9. Do they get, how do they get the spike onto the site right now? And Poise is going to be sitting right there. And Ox are just going to straight up play for the retake. So now, Mata, keep, keep, an, keep an eye on Mata here, Dan. He does have the run it back. He's going to use that wall as well. Follow up with the drone curveball. Not opting to use the ult yet as the spike continues to tick away. Come on, let's go! Such an awesome wall. And there goes the drop Ooh. from Mata using the running back, and it's gonna be Seb who swings off of that, able to take down one, but is still looking labored to get forward position onto that spike. In comes Boy from the back from short, doing all the damage, and that's enough disruption, but out comes the rocket from Lee, able to take down one, but it's an effort in vain. But actually, maybe I'm wrong because the time on the spike is not too much left here for Vice to be able to get the Steve Hughes. It's gonna be a close one, but just about! By process of elimination, they don't have time to really go anywhere else. So it's really gonna be used. Yay's up sings, takes care of Floppy early on. As Cloud9 try to get onto the site, they're all there, they're punched up. But what can Ambox do to hold them back? It doesn't look like they're able to do very much at all. As they fall apart, Vice trying to tag up on the other side of the box, not able to do it. Mata drops as well, Vice is left alone. The setup looked great. They had the info they wanted initially, Dan, but once it got onto the site, once the chaos ensued, they fell apart. Fantastic movement there from Cloud9 boys doing a really good presence towards mid garage. Oh, oh and Floppy's ready Airbox to punish again. this. Airbox does it again, but Floppy, as you said, is in a great spot. Takes care of Mata initially and then backs up. Yeah, Ye's made it through. He's good for Spike one. Down, attacker's he has spawn. a decent idea of where Floppy is as well. There's Ooh. Floppy, lands the shots. The Vandal's good to give him the kill. Begins. Here goes oh. Seb trying to make the contact towards Garish. It's traded out there. Two versus three, however, for Cloud9. Definitely against it at this point. You know, yeah, he's got that flank shut down. He's got the spike under his control. Horrible situation for Cloud9. It's going to be very hard to fight their way out of this one. However, with that said, Zeta able to take down Ye, so he can potentially recover claim of that spike, but there's been so much time. The reinforcements has already arrived. It's a wild swing coming through that will not, will not work whatsoever for Cloud9 as well. So three players on A. In defense here for Randbox. Yay! Oh, pretty. Nice. They were to take down one, and there could be more, but just slightly a pixel off, and Zeta will punish. And that's a 4v4, Doug. So this is a great spot for Cloud9. They can reset off of this. They're looking for the garage control, converting through the doors. To join the party. 40 seconds left on the round. Mod is good for the swing. He's got one. He had the ult. He drops. Vice looking to make a little magic happen as well. As Mitch is going to use the neural theft. Good for one. Down to the 1v1. He doesn't have the health. Paranoia. And you saw Boy use this from the shadows to get back behind C1. Got all the info that he needed. It's actually Ye who's going to show up a bit late. And by the time he gets here, it might be over. As God. The either. Ambox is playing, you know, players on A, or they're playing at least in a way where they're not sure what's going on. And that's, that's a couple of kills from Ye. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Unable to find the shot that he's looking for. And Boy oh, having to dodge the Hunter's Fury, but not for too much longer. Leak will put him out of his misery. And Cloud9 once again storming into the wow. sea site. And there is nothing to stop him as they mow everybody down again. And, well, oh. the operator not really coming into play here, unfortunately, for. And box. Nothing working out for them. Hey, so far so good. As Floppy drops. Great opening coming through there. Oh, Cloud9 able to defend. And that's a spike down on the ground. We'll see Poise trying to recover the situation. Does have some teammates to help him out as well. It's looking like wow. it's gone. No more advantages to be had. Oh, well, he's good for one. But that's really all he's good for. You're right, Dan. Like, this up. If left unchecked, 
while the fight ensues on the side. The Terminator is going to come out leaps, looking for a little bit. No, he's not able to get anything. Anbox, they were stand strong. They picked three of the members of Cloud9 One apart. Enemy remaining. And now, this bitch. Bitch in a 1v3, he gets picked apart as well. An excellent result because, as you said, they're guessing. They have no idea. Meanwhile, Cloud9 once again dialing up pressure across the middle of the map on lighter weaponry. We remaining. see them dial this up a lot in Ambox. Yeah, this is so tough. So, so tough for Cloud9. That's a big win, though, taking down Vice yeah. in mid yep. window in mid. That at least allows a retake scenario where you don't have to worry about that flank. But speaking of which, the from the shadows comes through, and they may not realize that that was cancelled. So they may be worrying about the flank, possibly. That was part of it, part of the reason to do that maneuver. But here is Ye, connecting every shot yeah. with the Operator, making it look so damn easy. And Mitch, it's all he could do to maybe squeeze out another good spot. You see him, like, lining up for it. And there it is. It is using that Hunter's Fury to try to clear out the middle of the site. And it's going to push the remaining members out of B and into the links. And hopefully into the warm, welcoming arms of the remaining members of Cloud9. Poi is able to take care of Vice, who is causing fits in B window. And now the remaining members of Ambox, they're, they're like... They're just trapped on the site, right? Now the spike is going to go down after being delayed as long as it was. You see the remaining members of Cloud9 slowly creep their way forward, slowly tighten their grasp on the site. Poise, good for Mata already. Yay, looking to dance around the bullets, around the utility that was coming his way. Not able to do it. Mitch gets two big ones, and Boy's left alone in a 1v2. He's got a good shot on him. He, he lights up for him. Ooh. He's good for one. Piled it up. They've got everything they need. With that, Ambox is still going to continue to try to get on the site. They're on there. They haven't tried to stick the spike down yet. 13 seconds left. Yay, it's Blade Storm causing problems. Looking to get the spike down as well. Zeta lurking around the corner. He's in a good spot for him. Yeah, Zeta's good for one. Zeta looking for more. He's going to get... Fast movement. The run it back gets popped there for Mata to get those entry swords. That's his side catch. Just popping in the back. Oh no, it's all falling apart for Cloud9 right here. Ambox's pace is just too much to deal with. Leap maybe with the rocket can find something, but it's sent through the dark cover, and that's not happening. Oh no! Poison no leap out of nowhere, Doug! No. I just, I don't even understand. Time, right? Like the inspirational music, the training, and then they're able to punch right back. Oh man, this round is going very comfortably in favor of Cloud9, at least early on. Two members of Ambox have already dropped. Inbox. He is, and it's certainly looking great. They've got the slippers on, smoking jackets are on, by the fire. And really all that much in terms of initiation coming from the alts and post mods. So at least there's even footing for Ambox in that sense. The one difference there is speed. Floppy's just on the other side of the cage. Floppy wins the gun duel. Sevel's the one who went in aggressively. He drops, and it looks like Cloud Nine's able to continue to stick it to him, right? The aggression that they show towards A pays off, and now Cloud Nine, excuse me, Ambox has no choice but to flip the map. Yes, it's going to be so difficult right now. Zeta able to take down Mata through the cage. They've got that backside control, the ever important backside control, and they got numbers. It's up to Vice against three to try to make this one work, but it really seems like a nightmare, and indeed has a lot to do by himself. And given the fact that now the paint shells are gone, there's nothing stopping them for closing nope. that distance and taking him down, and there he goes. And all the side control, it's it feels like it might be lost here, but still somehow Mitch is holding on to backside control. That allows Zeta to come out of spawn, yeah. and they've got a couple angles to play with cloud nine not done just yet in fact taking the advantage in this one ice alone here the same fight's not gonna and that's given some control oh, of wow. mid from ambox to ambox and poise is gonna get caught on the aggression there the paint shows a little bit late perhaps as uh, <laughs> he's very very far gone from that position now is mr vice now Ambox have won B main control. You can see the desperation for Cloud9 after that initial frag was lost. They're trying to push, they're trying to get advantages back, but instead, the disadvantages compound and become greater. Spike planted. Very similar to look to what we saw in the pistol, but this time it doesn't seem like Cloud9's going to be able to take the presence back that they did previously. As they're in a 5v2, make that a 5v1 as Leaf is left alone. And, and again, we mentioned this round one, right? They're willing to push through the Viper utility and call the bluffs and like full send and full send and go for it. Leaf, Leaf might be putting some Ooh. magic together, but and you also see Floppy just around the corner. Leaf can blow this up. Leaf goes in aggressive. He's good for one. The flash, no, opts to hold it. Boy punishes him. Down, Leaf's yeah. finally gonna drop, but the spike's gonna follow there as well. 
This is tough because the spike position is known by Cloud9. That's a great paranoia. It yeah. And they got to go forward to Floppy. Oh, it's not going to work out for them. His take away options. Mata looking to get aggressive up in heaven. No, he's going to get punched right in the mouth by Floppy. He's going to get dropped. Not without left. taking Zeta down with him. And now, oh my gosh, Dan. A's open. A's absolutely open. Cloud Knight's gonna have to hightail it to get back onto the site in time, but it's just gonna it's gonna be on Leaf initially. Leaf with the showstopper buying time. Good for oh my gosh, he's good for two. The rest comes up as well. Leaf finally drops the spot to be in an operator staring him down. Zeta on the other side. And many rounds. And here it is, the operator, and that's why it's there. That's why it's on Mitch. Oh, but can he survive? No, Mitch drops. That's a no. No, Mata Showstopper cleans him up, and Mata's looking for more as he gets onto Floppy as well. Zeta has shown up, however, for Cloud9. He's not able to do anything as Mata already has three. He does eventually drop at the. The Viper Spit. You imagine he just wants to play spoiler here. No, Poise with sound keys are there. The gun's gonna come out. There's the 1v1. That's so quick from Boy. There's the fault line. Is it gonna be a stick from Leaf? He's gonna come off of it, and here goes Boy with the swing, but it's Leaf. Clear out on his side, an excellent flash though on the counter. Floppy's there, Floppy's good for two. Seb trades one out as he's looking for more. He's good for it. The Spectre proving to be exactly what the Doctor ordered in that moment. For Ambox, his Vice gets the spike down. And there's the Viper's Pit. Oh, Lee almost had the spray, but he's got a freebie. Boy goes down, and with that, it's a wild spray into the Viper's Pit. But how do they deal with this? They don't have any natural counters. It's just going to have to be the case of just running it in and spraying them down. And that's exactly what's going to happen for Seb and Vi So check out, check out, bitch. Very different look. Walled up, bottom of A, and just left. Right now, he has to step back because the Viper shot the wall out, so they've got to respect where that play is. But now that's keeping Mitch elsewhere on the site while the fight's happening across the middle of the map, and Ambox have the numbers advantage. So there goes the take of mid. It's going to be a quick split to ropes. There's no messing around at this point. Mitch is in trouble. And it's going to be up to Mitch to try to hold this down. He's got to get enough kills in this situation. He'll take down a boy. And there's no trade to be had. And set us in there right in the nick of time to take down Mata. And now with that, it's a horrible situation. There goes the blind through to elbows. So again, clearing some possibilities. They have to be backside. Zeta wins the 1v1 with the help of Floppy. And now it's just Seb at the back. He can play between the wall and the screen. Oh, wow. But Zeta's good. And the inbox understanding that they're actually just going to flip the map. Mata, there was that lurk that you mentioned. He's dropped. And again, you find yourself in a position like this left. where the rotator's gone, right? Like the lurk is gone. You've got to really kind of brute force your way into the site. And that's exactly what Vice is able to do. The Rolling Thunder is going to come out. Tags up Poise, but they don't check it. Poise good for one. Poise good for a second as well. The spike goes down. Seb is left alone in a 1v4. This went absolutely sideways, Dan. Wow, nine looking so damn good, man. Back. All right, there's the showstopper. Mata taking the middle of the map. It also taking poise down. As we see some value come out from that, and Vice is able to get one as well. So they've got something cooking here in the final round of the half. But how do they close it out? How do they get past this to a round win? Mitch, he's got the op in his back pocket, but he really just has to back up from here. Oh man, Zeta gets aggressive as well. Ye punishes him going to be able to mosey their way onto A. Remaining members of Cloud9, they're going to show up, and it might be a bit too late. No, Floppy's caught as well. Oh. He's going to fight for this one. He's got the paranoia, and they're actually closing down. A uh, Abox are closing down position on the side. It. Oh, what a reaction, though. Into ropes, into the B play instead. That's beautiful. But still, Yay. Mata's going to force the issue in defense, and Ooh. up mail they go, and Leaf gets it done, and that's a clear path now for the plant. Ye was there. He was the one who was supposed to stop that play from expanding the way that it did, and he just got freaking in the jaw with the jumping classic and drops. Now, boys, just on the other side, able to get one. They're going to push in aggressively. They're looking for the last kill. It's boys who gets it. Cloud is his way in. Boy, understanding the pressure is in his front step. He's good for one, but he gets traded out. They've taken the Cloud9 is taking control of the side. Ambox has to show up and fight to take this bad boy back, and that's exactly what Vice has been able to, been able to do up until this point. Now Mata looking to move forward as well as Poise tries to get the spike down. Leaf good to draw more attention away. Buy him just enough space, enough time to get the spike down. Leaf looking for more. No. Mata takes care of him. Poise looking for a second. Yep, gets it. Drops things down to a 1v1. He's got 10 health. Vice is 10 health. Poise with the heat. Find anything I can. That will help Ambox in this round. Yay! Yay! Alright, that helps.
but that's all the help that they're going to get. Ye was in a great spot, but now the middle of the map is wide open. Mata with the blast all the way across. Again, exposing the middle of the map, and it's actually Mitch this time who's going to be able to get there aggressively first. Boy, Shook just shows up just a bit late. He drops. It's actually Poise who shows up in the nick of time to do it, but Mata and Seb good for a couple. Poise with three. Or soon. Drops down. Just a few seconds. Poise, no. As he tries to get it down. Handbox are just now starting to show up. Boys just flashed to high heaven. Wasn't able to see a damn thing. He's going to fall off ice. Good for two. Looking for the third. No. But it's Mata who gets it as well. Leaf left alone. Leaf. Good for one. Not able to get anything other than that. And box. Yet another round. And and damn, like. We and box. As they take mid controls. So they already have a retake ready to go. And all oh, the lineup for yay. Oh, he gets three out of it. That's it. Enormous, and it's gonna have to be equipped from the Shadows play to get some more control. But I don't know what there is to do here for Floppy and Zach. Spots one of the players, and again, keep an eye one on Floppy. Remains. Vice tapping Floppy, good for one. And oh my gosh, Vice! Vice looking to swing and hit him with the with the freaking haymaker, and the ball's on this guy. He might stick it. He's got to pull off. Floppy goes in aggressive. Floppy challenges and Floppy wins. It's going to be very difficult, but an opportunity is an opportunity. And Poise is going to get the heal. Oh, there's a second. And oh, now it's just dead. down to Poise. He's lost all of his oh. teammates and boy will shut it down. And that is Ambox still. It's been so much more kind and really generous to them as they've gotten themselves to this point. Boy has the rolling thunder. Imagine yeah. they might try to hang on to that for a retake while for Cloud9. Elsewhere, because they, they've got to wonder. They're being entertained right now on this B main control, but it feels a lot worse than maybe it is. And Vice will take down Floppy as the lurk. That should tell them quite a lot, Doug. You just saw the flash come out from Zeta as well. And now the Seekers are going to come out, so they're fully committing onto the scene. The Rolling Thunder is actually coming in to try to pinch anything across the middle of the map as they're going to blast onto the site. Leaf not able to connect onto anything but the Showstopper, but they've taken some presence onto the site. Leaf. With that, Vice is just trying to understand any other possible position he could.